Hey, good morning. It's Tuesday. Got a hurricane staring out in the Gulf. One's landed up in Mississippi, I guess it was. Another's headed for the Houston Galveston area. It's always something exciting in 2020. By the way, let me say exciting. Uh, Sunday was really an exciting day in the church, and uh, we had a great attendance, probably the high attendance for the last six months that we've been experiencing. Uh, probably collectively around 225 to 250 in that range of, with both campuses. So attendance is going up. COVID's going down. Again, they said they had the, uh, since May, the, 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 the lowest increases since May of every quarter. So there is a, a drop and even though cases are coming in, more and more people are testing, you know, so there's, those numbers will change. But the overall percentages where it was around 25, 28%, now it's about 16% coming in as positive. So there's good news on the horizon and uh, we praise the Lord for that. Uh, you know, there's a lot coming up to church this Friday night, should the weather allow and things go good. We're meeting with all our, our leaders. So if you're part of our church and you serve in a ministry on any level in our church, whether it's the uh, obvious levels of deacons and elders and those things, but if you serve in the ensemble, you work in the sound booth, you're a Sunday, you teach a children's church or whatever, lead a lift group, uh, you're, you need to be at this meeting. Or if you're looking for a place to get involved in ministry, Come to the meeting so you can see what the vision is for this fall as we as we move forward. I am excited about what the Lord has for us. I'll be sharing some of that in the days ahead from the pulpit as well. So you'll see the vision that the Lord's giving us for, for ministry and for growth and for, for, for regathering especially. September 13th is the regathering day. So we're looking forward to get as many people back in church as possible that day. You don't have to wait, obviously, to September 13th. Join us anyway and come on and be a part of the service. But uh, it's important that we all participate. We all be praying. We'll be having at least one or two prayer rallies prior to September 13th, which I will be announcing next week when they are. We'll do one in the Magnolia area. And we'll also do one in the Spring area. It'll be a night of worship. It'll be a night of prayer and praise. So you don't want to miss that. Might even have some testimonies that we'll, we're sharing as well. So let me just tell you about those things. Uh, I'm going to show you a picture. I uh, came across this the other day. This is me painting. And this is why I hire painters anymore. And, you know, I won't show you too much of the detail. It's ugly enough as it is. I was staining a, 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 a gazebo that we have in our backyard and ended up stepping in the paint, hit the ladder, the bucket on top fell off drenched me my, all over my, my shirt and clothes and works that I had on. So uh, I got where I kind of, uh, now I, I try to hire the professionals to do those jobs. But there, let me tell you, there's one job you can't hire a professional for, and that's your ministry, and that's your life, and your testimony, and your service to the Lord, and your stewardship of the Lord. Nobody else can do my giving. Nobody else can do my ministry. Nobody else can do my witnessing. Nobody else can do your witnessing. Nobody else can do your church attendance. Nobody else can do your participation. Nobody else can use your spiritual gifts for you. You're called to do those things yourself. So don't wait for somebody else to jump up the scene. Don't pray your pastor gets to do it. You need to be praying for courage and boldness and, and, and fortitude in your own life and, and be used by God. These are the days to make big differences in people's life. People are hurting and people are looking for answers. So I want to encourage you uh, to, to be cognizant of the fact God has his hand on your life and he wants to use you in somebody else's life today. So pay attention to what's going on around you. There may be somebody there that really needs you to tell your story of what God's done in your life. So be ready, be filled with the Spirit, be, walk with your armor on, and be ready to be used by God. So God's up to great things. I just want to give you an update on our leadership meeting, our September the, uh, the 13th regathering day. All the information will be on the web in the days ahead as well. We'll be making further announcements of that. But God bless you. Look forward to a great weekend again.